The U.N. says this morning the number of refugees from Syria now tops one and a half million. The U.S. and Russia, Syria's most important ally, are proposing a peace conference. But the Russians have refused to pressure the Assad regime, and a new report indi indicates that Russian support for the Syrian government is not wavering. Charlie Daggett is in London. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Charlie and Nora. There are reports this morning that Russia has delivered advanced anti-ship missiles to Syria. They're reportedly a newer version of missiles that Russia has been supplying President Bashar al-Assad's regime for years, but with better radar systems. Now, they've been described as ship killers, and they raise Syria's capability to hit vessels off its coast in the event of a blockade or to attack ships used to support a no-fly zone. Now, without specifically referring to the anti-ship missiles, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said today that Russians have made no secret of the fact they continue to supply weapons to Syria under contract and in accordance with international law. Now, this was a contract that was signed back in 2007. Raising the stakes even more, Russia has incre increased the number of warships in that region that patrol its own naval base in Syria. Now, this comes at a time when Secretary of State John Kerry has been working with Russian officials to assemble an international conference on Syria. Today, the U.N. Secretary General and the Russian Foreign Minister agree that that should be held as soon as possible, but as yet, no date has been set. Charlie and Nora. Charlie Daggett, thank you.